District 7 is a quite diverse district in the sense that it extends from 96th Street all the way up to the 160s. Um, obviously that captures a large portion of Columbia University's main campus. You have lifelong New Yorkers, you have a historically black neighborhood, you have a historically Latino, sort of Puerto Rican, Dominican um, neighborhoods also in the district. It covers a very large area and sometimes very different. To the south is 96th Street uh, in the west and then you can go all the way up to Harlem and it does cover parts of Harlem and Washington Heights. These are the kinds of neighborhoods where in some ways you have a real confrontation between those who don't have a lot and those who have serious resources and political clout. In some respects, this district represents everything that is New York in that, in that regard. It is safe. It is right by the water. Um, it's on a great train line. The architecture is, I think, some of the most beautiful in the entire city. I mean, there's something very romantic about New York City, but definitely about District 7. The concerns of District 7 uh, are affordable housing, uh, transportation, the availability and need for people to move around freely and easily uh, throughout the district and we need better bus services for our residents. And then we have a large elderly population, a lot of attention has to be paid to uh, what services we offer to our elderly. Now we have the availability of free attorneys in housing court. It's a new thing and it's a game changer. It now helps folks who are at risk of eviction have a fighting chance of staying in their homes. When I say affordable, it's, it's the keeping folks in their apartment. Are we making more apartments available to folks in need? You do have gentrification issues. Providing affordable units to be matched by market rate uh, is one of the difficulties. While you may provide a number of, quote, affordable units, you may ultimately lead to a displacement in the not too distant future because suddenly there's a wealth of market rate units which tends to jack up the uh, rates for apartments um, in, in the rental market and displace working poor people. You also have how you're allocating educational opportunity in the various schools. Some of the mom and pop shops that were here are no longer here and they're being replaced by national chains. And these are people who rode out some really bad storms in the 80s and even the 90s and now they're being pushed out of the neighborhood that they essentially stuck by. To buy in District 7 right now for a lot of families is absolutely impossible. Um, and even to rent in this district is becoming even more impossible, largely because of the expansion of Columbia University. And also there are a lot of people from out of New York City and from other boroughs in New York City who see this as a desirable neighborhood. What can be done to keep folks in their apartment? Second question, what can we do to increase the stock to get folks into those apartments? Uh, whoever the, the, the city council person will be would have to be able to, to balance uh, folks living in public housing as well as folks living in market rate high-end high luxury buildings and still represent both sectors uh, well. There needs to be some sort of assistance from the city council to help some of these businesses either with financial literacy, some sort of tax relief, um, something from the council to make sure that we don't lose what makes New York City, New York City. So I would love for the city council to really make sure also that the community in District 7 feels as though they're welcome to Columbia. Columbia is an open campus. It's a beautiful campus. You're allowed to walk through the campus. You can sit on the steps. You can lay on the grass. And we see that some community members do that, but there's still a lot of invisible boundaries where a lot of people think that they're not allowed to be on this space. I think it's really having a, a, a granular understanding of the people in the district. Essentially appeal to a wide array of different constituencies, sometimes with very different needs. And making sure this doesn't come to break down, where one group feels that it's being totally excluded from the political process, is one of the, the balancing acts that has to go on for this particular individual who runs for office and, and ultimately leads the district.